Good morning and welcome to Worship Chapel. Over 30 Northwestern students spent their spring break serving on student mission trips. Over 30 participating students served on these missions in a variety of different ways. Their service included managing VBS, doing construction work, and working with the elderly. Many students didn't know each other before going on the trip. For sophomore Alec Leonard, this challenge was beneficial. It challenged me to think outside my normal friend group and try to meet people around Northwestern because working with other brothers and sisters in Christ was just so cool. Before long, the students that were once strangers had become like family. This unity encouraged their service to God and others. I just thought it was really neat that we were able to come together despite differences and to just have fun with the kids. Leonard hopes to apply what he learned from his experience in New Orleans here on campus. I just think Northwestern is an awesome place and it can be even better the more we get to know one another. For Eagle 7 News, I'm Ashley Arneson. This week was not your average chapel. Angela Hayek talked to the students about what they felt about it. Spring is right around the corner, and this time of year, Northwestern does chapel a little bit differently. This week, chapel is separated between men and women, and I'm here at the stud to get students' reactions. What did you think about the men and women's breakout chapel? I personally really enjoyed it. Um, we, the guys, had Kempton Turner come, and he talked mainly about the gospel and how the gospel is the source of everything for guys and girls. But it was just a really great time for guys to come together and uh, and come back to the gospel. What stuck out to you during the breakout chapel? I just loved how fabulous she was. She was just so funny, and oh, I love her. So I could listen to her all day. So. What did you think of the men and women's breakout chapel? Past couple days, I thought it's been really good actually. Kempton Turner has been great in the Erickson gym. I think it's great that he has a chance to talk to us guys. What stuck out to you during the breakout chapel? Um, for me, I think the biggest thing was um, just seeing the walls come down from all of the girls in the room. Um, just because there was a sense of understanding with all of the women in the room and there weren't distractions. It was funny because you don't realize how distracting guys are until they're gone. <laughs> So that was good. I really liked that she was able to like go from being really funny to being really serious sometimes and it was just a really great balance and like like Felicia said, I really liked that we got to be really real. What was your defining moment during the men's breakout chapel? I don't even go to chapel. <laughs> <laughs> Angela Hayak, Eagle 7 News. Now we have the weather. What's it looking like, Josette? Well, Juice, this is exactly what we've been waiting for. Spring is finally here. Today, it's going to be 48 degrees. That means the snow is going to be melting, and unfortunately, tomorrow, it's going to get a little bit cold, and overnight, the water is going to freeze, so the roads might be slightly slippery tomorrow, so be careful if you're traveling over the weekend. Over Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be a high of 30 degrees. The beginning of next week is going to start warming up again with a high of 34 on Monday, a high of 32 on Wednesday, and starting on Wednesday it's going to be back into the 40s and by Thursday it'll be back up to 48. So get outside, have fun, maybe go for a run, fly a kite, just enjoy it. Juice? Force will be hosting its annual multicultural event April 12th in the Student Center. The festival will start at 7 p.m. There will be lots of great performances, fantastic food, ac student activities, will be hosting their another exciting dance tomorrow night at 9 p.m. in the Erickson. It's the Neon Lights theme, so come wearing bright colors and get ready to have a good time. Say goodbye to having four roommates crammed in a dorm. Northwestern will officially be getting more housing space. Northwestern is excited to announce the Country Inn and Suites will be up and running for fall 2014. We're signing people up in these rooms. This will increase the number of rooms available and decrease the amount of people living in them. This new building also comes with a few unique amenities. So there's an existing pool and spa, and then there's also an exercise room. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> so there's an existing pool. I don't see why there can't be some pool parties once in a while. I think it'd be really cool to be able to say that our school has a pool, so. Students are curious as to how Northwestern will handle it. I won't be surprised if they have guy swim hours and girl swim hours, and then maybe like an hour of community swim time. <laughs> For Tuesday, Thursday is guys, and Monday, Wednesday is girls, and then Friday is 
Either the pool is just going to be closed, or they're going to have some special event. But, but the girls have to wear one pieces <laughs> with shorts. <laughs> Full scuba suits. Yeah, that's what I mean. Wet suits. We have to rent wet, wet suits. What? Full wet suits, yeah, that's. With the addition of a pool, we must say goodbye to our beloved end lounges. Can we get end lounge police on campus? Even with an exciting addition, students must not get too carried away. And I'm hoping that there will be room service. <laughs> Well, I'm supposed to be graduating this year, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going back just so I can go swimming. Oh yeah, I definitely will be going swimming as well. And hey, maybe room service will clean our rooms for us. No more room checks? No Ever. More, no more room checks. <laughs> well, that's all the news we have for you this week. Be sure to check us out online. I'm Josette Uliff. And I'm Juice Sutton. Thanks for watching and see you next time.